Hey everyone, welcome to this video. Today I'm going to show you how you can create a shield and a viking helmet. Also, we will equip this to the character. You can see the final result here in the video. Let's get started. First, let's create the shield class and then the helmet class. In my case, they are Charles from the Armor Master. Next, you will have to download some assets. I will use these two free assets from TurboSquid, which you will find in the video description. For the helmet, I will download only the mesh and for the shield, I download the FBX and the texture. Create folders for the new meshes and let's import everything. Then select the base color of the shield and create a material from it. Import the other two textures and connect them to the output. Here I have a material with three outputs. You can see this from the name. The first is the red channel, the second is the green channel, and the third is the blue channel. Connect the pins accordingly. Go to the mesh and select the new material. For the helmet, I will only change the base color a little bit. After you finish this, we can now create the basic item informations. Open both items and fill some text into it. I will speed this part up. Make sure that the item has the correct equipment slot. For the rotation and location of the character, go to the skeleton. Create a socket on the head and add the helmet as a preview asset. If your scaling is off like mine, you can simply fix it by setting the scale first here. When you have the correct scaling, you go into the mesh and set the build settings to the values you want and apply the changes. As you can see, the mesh is now scaled in the engine. Reset the socket and copy the remaining rotation and location to the item class. Copy the name of the socket and do the same for the shield. I will speed it up again. Create a socket on the right hand.
Okay, rotate and reposition the mesh like you want. Like we did before, change the mesh and the build settings and apply the changes. Copy the rotation and location to the item once again. Make sure to select the correct mesh for the static meshes of the two items. Go back to your map editor and pull the items into the world. You can then adjust the positions in your item blueprints so that you have less clipping when you add them to the world. After this, we can finally move to the logic part. Open the character, go to the equip function, and before we go further, let's fix the small bug here I noticed. Inside the attach function, connect the slot to the key. Create a new function, which will be used to make some small adjustments to the code we have here. Copy and paste everything into the new function. Connect the equipment slot to the input. And also connect the s underscore item data to the input. For better overview, let's create a local variable for the item. Put this item into the missing variables. Move the actor mesh also into the input node. Rename it and save it also to a local variable. Place the left hand mesh with the new template variable we created. Don't forget to pin all the remaining nodes to the input. Go back to the attach function and replace the old code with a new function. Do this for the left hand mesh. Copy and paste everything for the right hand and the helmet. Then copy and paste the left hand mesh and create a right hand mesh and the helmet mesh. Make sure to select the correct socket. A 
If you have this error like me, simply delete the item variable and pull it in again. This should be a small bug. Don't forget to replace the left hand mesh and the attach function with the newly created meshes. Make sure to reset the socket inside the skeleton. Also, make sure to reset the mesh location after you changed the socket parent inside the character. For the unequip, go to the function and break the equipment settings. From the equipment slot, switch and connect the armor. Copy and paste the static mesh and connect it to the right hand and to the helmet. Connect everything to the remove and change the meshes. Before you test, make sure that your items have the correct rotation and location set. Mine were off a little bit. Also, like I mentioned before, make sure that the sockets are zeroed out. And here's the result. Pick the items up and equip the helmet and also try to equip the right hand shield. And that's it for this video. In the next one we will be working on creating our own armor parts with a skeleton. See you next week. Bye.